bike you're on. Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we're in Avondale, Arizona, just outside Phoenix. We are at Blue Compass RV, formerly known as Tom's Camperland here in Arizona. We're looking at a Coachman. Um, it is a, a model Freedom Express. It is the 20 SE, no slides and very light. Let's look. All right, so for a tiny travel trailer, this has an amazing amount of front storage, Lisa. Doesn't it? That is really cool. Yeah. As you look up, you have an awning that basically covers the entire side. Nice. All right, couple app axles there. Lippard solid step. This is manual crank down jacks. When we get to the back, there's also a really decent storage cabinet back here, a oh, compartment rather, okay, which goes all the way in there too. Right. There is no ladder as you see here, so um, you'll have to carry an extra accessory to get up to the roof. As we come around the other side, again, as you can see, there's no slide, but here's where your connections are, your water and power. If we continue up to the front, you have another access door to that big front storage. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the numbers. This has a gross vehicle weight of 6,000 pounds and a cargo carrying capacity of 1,800 and 44 pounds. That means when it's empty, it's just a little over 4,100 pounds empty. Tell this with just about anything. Up front, two 20 pound protein panks. Your spare tire is up here, placed for a couple of batteries, and you got an electric jack to get it on and off your vehicle. So let's go look inside. All right, so as you come in, you have this really unique dining area with an extended bench, which I kind of really like. Also, the table is movable. So if you want to take the table outside, you could take the table outside. Um, there's storage underneath uh, the benches as well. Uh, just to give you an idea of length of the bench, uh, if you're joining us for the first time, I am six foot four. So use my height as reference as we're walking around the RV. And while you're at it, do us a huge favor. Thumbs up, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. Cost you nothing, and it really does help out the channel. Okay? So at my height, six foot four, I just... I just, I almost make it, almost, so close, but I could curl up a little bit. And then there's the bench on the other side, okay? There is cabinetry all the way around, and these are full pass-throughs. Hey, everybody! And here you go, this, so it's a full wraparound cabinet right oh, here. Wow, nice. So it's here and goes all the way around. Nice. Speaking of cabinets, you got this huge entry cabinet here. Wow. There's a hanging rack here. So if you want to hang uh, clothes or coats or whatever, you, you, you do that. Boots and whatever. Okay? Very nice. And then we get into the kitchen. It's sort of a galley kitchen. But as we're doing the kitchen, your entertainment area is also here. There's some shelves, as we can see. There's a radio built in already. Okay? Yeah. What I like about the galley style is it does give you a little bit of extra counter space here. So that's awesome. Um, we do have a large basin sink. Um, we've got a tall faucet. Overhead, we have this huge ca uh, cabinet here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can hold lots of dishes in there. Um, moving along, we've got a microwave here. Magic chef. Yes, we do have a three burner stove. We actually have an oven in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, yeah. Maybe. So that's kind of a rare these days, I think. Underneath? Oh, yeah, and that goes all the way in. It's deep. Yes. And moving back this direction. Um, oh, we do. Oh, look, look at, that. at that. I love how they're doing that. I do too. So they cut that around the plumbing so they're not wasting the space. I love it. And look at all the extra storage you have yep. because of that. That's awesome. And, and then underneath as well. Nice. Yeah. And, and then we have. a couple have... drawers here too. Yes. Yep. Nice. One and two. Um, behind me, we do have a Dometic refrigerator freezer. This is propane, so this will work on either propane or electric. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's behind door number one. Uh oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. All right, so if you're jumping around the video, remember I'm six foot four, so use my height as reference. Now, if I'm sitting on this plastic foot flush toilet, the way that it is angled, which is straight to the door, as you can see at my height, I absolutely do not fit. Um, the door is almost to the floor, so it, my feet won't go underneath. Um, sometimes there's some RVs where the door has been raised to allow that extra space. Um, this does not have that. So if I augment my seating position, there is plenty of space, 
but it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable on, on the seat. You know, the toilet seats are sort of, you know, contoured a little bit. So this is gonna be a, a bit weird. So I'm not gonna go up or down with the thumbs because it does fit when I angle. It's just gonna be weird if you're a big person. So if you like this floor plan that has no slides, but you're tall or a big person like me, you may wanna come check this out. Over here in the corner, there's a nice little sink, decent size, little bit of countertop space, not much, but a little bit. You do have a little bit of storage as well. Above, there is a medicine cabinet, and at my height, I can see my entire self. Pretty deep uh, storage up there too, all right? There is no other cabinetry in here for towels and stuff, so um, maybe you gotta keep those up in the front. So we're in a little corner shower, a little curtain okay so um my head is up in the bubble and so i could be six foot seven and fit up in the bubble um th this corner shower is a little bit tight um for a big person um it's a little bit uncomfortable turn um, back around again yeah because yeah. when you did earlier your arm was yeah it was kind of yeah I'm, i mean i'm pulling it in a little bit so <laughs> I'm, I'm pressed up against the wall yeah it, it's a little tight for for a big person y'all yeah definitely a little bit challenging up to the bedroom nice size bedroom for such a small uh travel trailer all right so let's lift this up first so it does have some storage underneath here. Uh, this is not on pistons, so you do have to hold it. And let's get a measurement on the bed. So this is 60. Uh-oh, drum roll. Drum roll, are we getting residential size? No. 60 by 78. Oh, two inches so, short. You know, I, I, I mean- you could put a residential yeah. in here. You know what, guys? I'm gonna go with that. You can put a residential queen size mattress in here. Um, we talked about this before. Sometimes it's hard to get an exact measurement on a mattress because they're kind of mushy. Um, and so, I. I I would definitely say you could get a residential queen mattress in here, which is nice. So as you look forward, um, there's lots of storage up top. There's just no doors. Over here, there is hanging rack space in here for your hanging clothes, but it's it's not very deep. So again, if you're tall like me, your shirts are gonna be bunched up at the bottom. There are two drawers, all right? There's power down there on the floor, all right? On the other side, I'm assuming it's the same exact way, Lisa. Yep, it's set agree. up the same exact way. What you do also have are these cubbies back here. And there's power back in the cubbies. Oh, well, that's it's nice. hard to see. Hopefully the camera's catching that. So there's power back in there. So if you've got a CPAP, that would be a great place to put the CPAP. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a, a place to mount your TV right here if you want to put a TV up in there. Very nice. So a, a nice, tiny travel trailer, guys. Uh, with no slides. So if you're looking for something lightweight that you don't need a big truck to pull um, and uh, go places that, uh, well, having a slide is gonna be challenging, this is a pretty good floor model. Um, if you're big like me, to reiterate, that shower is gonna be a bit challenging. And, and the toilet is a bit challenging as well. So the bathroom's a little bit snug for the big people in the world, but other than that, nice floor plan. All right, mm -hmm. guys, thank you so much. Tall Man Clan, God bless you guys. Thank you for being with us through Thick and Thin. Until we see you all again, be safe.